and welcome back to Let's Play Tunic Blind. Alright, so before we move on to the giant gate that we opened up last time, I do want to head back real quick and go get a couple of upgrades that we can finally afford. So let me see, what do we need to grab first? I guess the first thing we should probably grab is another flask, because five would actually help out quite a bit. And then at some point I also want to find myself a wishing well. Because I did grab a couple of coins since the last time I've been that I should probably throw in. Because what I think the wells do, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure the wells basically will let us uh, get more accessory slots. A.K.A. these things. Oh yeah, I also need... Oh, actually I'm kind of 30 short. Hold on a minute. Let me quickly kill some enemies. Alright, but yeah, where is the nearest well? I know there's one in the forest, but there has to be one closer by, right? Like, hold on a minute. Is it on the map? Uh... I don't see a well on the map. Maybe we'll take a look around real quick just to see if there's anything around here. Because I would rather not go all the way back to the forest temple area. Like, I've, oh wait, there's one right here. I'm dumb. Alright, hold on a minute. Uh, where are my items? Okay, so we've thrown five in so far, and that has done oop, absolutely nothing, it looks like. Okay, maybe that's not what they do. I could have sworn, judging by the manual, that they would just give me more, like, places I could put, like, oop, places I could put these in, but I guess not. Either that or I just don't have enough yet, which is an, an also a possibility. All right. Yeah, it might just be that I just don't have enough of them yet. Alright, how much money do I have? Perfect, just enough. I can't afford anything else, but I can at least afford another flask. You know, this guy isn't so scary. Look, he's just giving us some free stuff. Alright, I'm gonna take this. So that gives me five to work with. Perfect. I do want to save up. Oh, gosh. Why is it 999 for this? Okay, yeah, that's not happening for a while. I'm going to need to save up some cash again. But all right. Five flash should be good enough for now. So, uh, shall we head back? I was really hoping those coins would have gotten me something by now, but I guess not. Might not have hit the uh, certain threshold yet. Also, I wonder if I even need this mask for the boss fight. I'm assuming there's a... Well, no, it's probably another dungeon before the boss. But I'm assuming we're going to need this mask for a while while we're in this area. Seems like everything around here is poisonous and wants to kill me. Speaking of wanting to kill me, I should probably make sure I'm actually at full health before I go in. I just remembered I'm missing a little bit of health. Hold on. Let me quickly fix that. They really need to put a call button on the elevator. Seems really inconvenient you can only use it if someone's in it. Or like... You can only move it if someone's in it. There's no call button to have it brought to you. As I found out last time when I had to hoof it all the way back up because I kind of forgot that I had it up and went all the way down by stairs. Anyways, let's go see what's in here. Like I said, I'm assuming either a dungeon or a boss. And judging by the giant open room... And all the bodies... You guys are dead, right? Yeah. All the bodies around, uh... I think the boss is coming up.
One question. I just want to check something real quick. Okay, I only have three shots with that thing. Uh, yeah, until I have a better, like, more MP, I don't think I'll be able to use the gun that effectively. Okay, this is not what I expected down here. I thought it would be like a mine of some kind, or like, judging by the uh, aesthetics of the enemy so far, some type, yeah, some type of mining settlement. I didn't think I would be in a future city. Okay, yep. Hold on, before we move forward, is there something here? No, okay. Do I have a map of the area? I don't think I do. I feel like I'm missing a couple pages somewhere. Swamp. Yeah, I'm missing. I think I'm missing some pages. Oh well. So far, it doesn't seem too bad in here. Like. I don't know if I trust touching that yet. One second. Before we go that way, is there anything over here? You know what? We're already in the area. If I don't get it now, I'll just forget to come back. What? Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Uh, there are freaking fairies everywhere. Oh, this is a save point. What? Hold on a minute. This don't look like no fox goddess. At least I think it's a save point. It's making the save point sound. Huh. Alright, well, we got future save points, apparently. Oh, that means all the fairies probably respawned, didn't they? Yep, here they come. Gotta hit... You know what? There. Gotta hit those things. Thank God they dropped magic so I can just use the magic wand on them without any worries. That did, uh, you know what, we're gonna keep moving. I was gonna go back and heal up, but then I had to deal with them again. They don't even drop money, so it's not worth killing them, to be honest. Also, yeah, still not a fan of the depth perception in this game. I don't know what it is about this game compared to, like, Zelda, either. Like, in Zelda, it's pretty easy to tell when things are above or below you. In this one... I think it's because the camera moves all the time. I think it's because the camera moves all the time that it can get kind of weird. Why didn't you activate before? There. I see you fairies. I saw them moving in the background over there. They're gonna come up and try to kill me soon. Ooh, chest. Even in the future, they still use treasure chests. How do I get down there, though? Uh, hold on. Before I go up there, I kind of want to go see what's over here first. Is that a grapple point? No, it's not a grapple point. What is that thing? Oh, it's a switch. Okay, that makes more sense, then. Oh, actually, there are a lot of fairies in the background, just seeing them all. Actually, now that I think about it, are these guys even still the boss of the area? Rooted... I guess they are. Well, no, hold on a minute. They might have just been the boss in the Ziggurat area, but... I don't think they really match up with the aesthetic of this area so much. I'm expecting some kind of giant robot at the end. Or, like, another... Or a giant fairy or something. If it's another rat person, that would be kind of surprising. Okay, I don't think I can get uh, down there yet. Let's see what happens if we activate this thing. Oh! Is it hostile? It's hostile! Oh, no! Oh, and it's also immune to magic. Great. Great. 
Can I at least grab it? Oh my god, it's not dead yet. I was not expecting that thing to be in there. I'm going to die. Did that do anything? Oh, I think it activated the ladder here. Okay, well. Note to self. Don't pray to... Well, no, I guess we had to pray to it to open up the way forward. Uh, before we go forward, I'm gonna go run back and heal. I was not expecting that thing to come to life. I guess the fact that it looked kind of different from the other ones we've used so far should have tipped me off, but... No, actually, yeah, that probably should have tipped me off that something different would happen. Wasn't expecting it to be hostile, though. Okay, are these things actual save points? Like, listen to this. The save point sound is so distort. Like, it's kind of distorted down here compared to the normal one. Like, usually when we save, it has that little, like, pleasant ding at the end. But, oh god, one minute. There. Anyways. Yeah, usually it has that pleasant, like, little ding at the end after you save. But with these... Or... I'm not even sure if I'm saving. Probably just healing. Every time you heal. But with these one, it's like... A weird... Discordant sound whenever I do it. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna do something later on. Or maybe we'll figure it out. Oh, you know what? I thought saving would keep the ladder fixed. No, we need to kill this thing to move forward. Okay. Let's see if we at least get past this phase as quickly as possible. Because the second phase isn't too bad. I can zap that thing. Or I could just get behind it. That works too. It also doesn't help that the remains of its shell are actually blocking me everywhere. Uh, you know what? Better than last time. I'll use two healing charges just in case. Yeah, it doesn't help that these things are actually blocking my way to- like, I can't walk over them. Here, hold on. There was a chest somewhere in this area. I think it's further down. Is there another way down from here? Also, yeah, ladder puzzle. Great. There it is. What are you? Please be something good. It is... MP fruit. You know what? I'll take it. Oh yeah, one other thing I should probably be using. I should be trying to use, like, time slow at some point. Well, I'm still not sure how helpful time slow is compared to everything else we can grab, we can use. It feels kind of underwhelming compared to the other magics we have. Speaking of magic, uh, this has nothing to do with magic, but I picked this staircase. Ladder. Wait, this feels like it's gonna bring me down. Actually, wait, did they just both link up to the same place? Never mind, they both link up to the same place. I will say, though, this might have been a good time to use our lantern. I can't actually control when to use the lantern, but I feel like this would have been a good time to use it. It's kind of dark in here. Despite the very... W okay, there's our lantern. Despite all the, like, white lights everywhere. Oh, hey, a decoy. I really should try using one of these soon. I have a feeling I know what it does. I think... Actually, wait, before I move on. 
Just gotta make sure there's nothing hidden behind here. But yeah, what I think the decoy does is it basically makes the enemies attack it instead of you. Which I guess for a boss fight would be really good. But I kind of want to fight them the normal way if possible. Speaking of boss fights, uh... That thing looks nice. Yeah, something tells me we're going to need to keep this mask on if we're going to fight that thing. Remember when this game was a, like, light-hearted fantasy game? Where everything was super cute and nice? Um... Well, this escalated quickly. I guess we were told to go into the depths of- into the root of the world to get our next key. Also, yeah, I'm not sure if the mic is picking it up, but this area is making my controller vibrate like crazy. Speaking of vibrating like crazy... Oh! Huh. So, every single obelisk we've seen so far has one of those things inside. And I guess breaking them open releases the energy then. Huh. Is there anything over here? No. Yeah, we really need to get some lights on in here. It's so dark. Okay, uh, well then. Okay, never mind, it's no longer dark. Also, yeah, I think I see why I need the mask now. I'm just curious. Hold on a minute. What happens if I take my mask off? Huh. Nothing, actually. Okay, apparently this stuff does no longer, like, drains my health. Okay. In that case, let's, uh, put this on. Are you guys dead? Yes, they are. More bombs. You know what? The game really wants me to use bombs. I'll put bombs on for a while. Holy crap, it's bright in here. Oh, God! Okay, no, I lied. I need that mask on right now. Okay, I'm beginning to see why they gave me the gun before this area. Yeah, hold on a minute. I don't think I'm going to need silent footsteps for this area, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to run back and grab my HP back. Okay, so that might be why the game gave me the gun. These things are basically like the Flood from Halo. If you kill them, they just split into smaller enemies. Fortunately, we have a shotgun. So that kind of balances things out. But yeah, uh... I'm not going to be squeamish about using this gun. It seems like they are really effective against these guys. Oh, God. Okay, um, note to sell. Apparently... Oh, hey, is that another flask? Oh, that's another flask, perfect. But yeah, apparently, um, even if you're wearing the mask, if they hit you, they still drain your health. So this actually does not help at all. I'm gonna get rid of it. Put that on for now, I guess. I don't even remember what this one is.
Oh, no, you don't. Back up. Oh, God. Is there any way for me to get that, like, help uh, I lost back? Oh, that went all my magic. Ooh, okay, you know what? One issue is, though, I need to make sure I grab all of the MP drops before they disappear. I guess bombs could also work pretty well here. Anything that does a lot of damage in an area. Speaking of damaging in an area... Oh god, they're flanking me. I didn't think there would be a point in this game where the gun would be, like, the weapon to use, but apparently I was wrong. I, like I said, I guess that's why they gave it to us in the area right before this. But yeah, there has to be a way for me to get the, like, lost health back, right? Either that or I just need to not get hit. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. I want to try something next time those things pop up. So I know they split if I break and like kill them normally with my sword, but what if I freeze them first? Like if I freeze them, can I just like break them? Well, yeah, I'll give it a try. Also, the one issue with this area so far is it doesn't drop any money. So if I'm going to grow, oh god. There are two of them. Can I take them on one at a time? Hold on. Oh, I don't even need to pray to them to wake them up. Alright, I'm going to see if I can take care of one before the other. Okay, you know what? The gun does a lot of damage. And it affects these guys. Apparently I was underestimating... Oh god. Okay. That got out of hand really quickly. Oh yeah, you know what? Let me try the freeze potion next time I, those things pop up from the, uh... I don't even want to call it lava. From the weird underworld goo. Also, I got hit way too many times there. I want to kill at least one of them. Also, maybe I'll just stay away from the edge for now. Oh, that does work. Perfect. Also, something tells me I should probably kill one before I release the other one. Oh, I have no stamina. There we go. Okay, apparently they don't come out of the weird goo unless I get near the edge. So I guess I'll just stay away from the edges for now. But yeah, if these things basically have like those creatures inside them. What is it that we're doing when we pray to them? Yeah, they definitely don't come up until I uh, release them. Ow! Until I release them. Alright, you know what? I will admit, this is a really satisfying weapon. Just that little, like, slow down right before it fires. Also... Oh, wait, did I... Oh, no, it stayed activated. Perfect. I'm just gonna sneak on by, if you don't mind. Nope, no way. Oh god, they woke up. Nope, no one's here. There's nothing over here, is there? Oh god, they can follow me. 
Oh, actually, you know what? This might be a good place to fight then, if that's the case. I did not mean to parry their game. Yeah, this might be a good place to fight here then. I am out of magic though. Also, I don't know if the game actually planned for me to fight them here, judging by the fact that it's like little wave attack kind of doesn't work. Okay, you know what? I actually have less health than I did before. There. I really wish we got charges for these two, but it doesn't seem like we do. Alright, well anyways, that was a waste of health. Uh, before I go down this way, I kind of want to go see what's down the other path. Treasure! There's treasure over here. Also, there's treasure up there that I missed. That's six bombs? I have 18 bombs. Okay, you know what? The game is definitely telling me to use these, so I'm gonna use them. Hold on, before I go forward, though, is, can I get that treasure over there? Yes, yes I can. Apparently I completely missed it on the way down. Uh, more MP fruit. You know what? I'll take it. I'm also not going to touch the save point because I don't want the enemies to respawn right away. Although looking at it, I could probably just make a run for it. In fact, oh my god. Okay, I'm beginning to see why this area comes after the last two. This game suddenly turned into a horror game. Is this not working? Oh, it's not receiving power. Hold on a minute. Wait, if these things also power the save points on the surface... Hmm. Yeah, if these things also power the save points up there... I guess they are the same in that case, huh? Also, yeah, before I move forward, I want to just see what's up here real quick. Alright, well, hold on a minute. Is that... That might be the boss of the scavengers. I think I'll bother him later. In fact, I think we're just going to wrap things up here for now. So, next time on Let's Play Tunic Blind, we're going to see what fresh hell lies beneath the earth. So, till then.